Welcome back friends, this is Fraser from FTR Studio. Hey creators, today we are getting wavy with Maya's non-linear sine deformer. Let's try the sine wave and animate it. We can create water waves like this with the sine wave deformer. We can also create a heart, squashing and stretching like this. Or we can create a worm wiggling and sliding. So let's dive in and get started. Start with the basic shape like a plane or a stretched cube and also don't forget to add enough subdivisions to get it smooth transitions. Make it longer so that we get a better wave effect. It's now time to get wavy. So select the base mesh and move to the menu on top, the deformers menu. Scroll down to the non-linear deformers and select the sign. As you click on it, you can see a sign handle appears. Go into the channel box with the handle selected. Under the input nodes, you'll find the sign 1 deformer node. Under that, you'll get that attributes. Let's talk about attributes and how it controls the mesh. The first one, amplitude. As you can see, this controls the wave's height. So you can tweak that, increase or decrease that to get your desired height for the wave. Coming to the next attribute or the property which is the wavelength. This controls the distance between each wave. So more the wavelength, you'll get wider waves and if you decrease it, obviously you'll get narrower and more sharper waves. Coming to the next attribute which is the offset. This basically makes the wave slide across your mesh. And keep an eye on this. This will be very useful while animating with the deformer. Moving next to the low and the high bound as we have discussed earlier as well in other deformers in the previous tutorials. This basically limits the effect of the deformer. So basically the low bound will tell you where it will start and the high bound will tell you where it will end. Now let's animate the wave like a pro. Select the sign deformer handle. Also keep a note that your timeline is displayed and your range slider is also displayed. Coming back to the animation, so we will be animating for 120 frames. That means 24 frames per second. So that means we'll be animating for 5 seconds, which is 120 frames. I'll show you how. For that, go to the first frame in the time slider, select sign deform handle, turn the offset to 0. Select the offset node with the right click, you will get an option. See on the top, the second option is key selected. Hit on key selected. You can also have press S key for a shortcut. Key all the attributes. Now scroll the time slider to the 24th frame. Go back to the channel box in, under the attributes or the offset. Now increase the offset. You select a value depending on how much movement you want. It can be 1, it can be 5, or it can be 10. I think 1 will do good for this animation. So we'll keep it as 1. This will lock the two keyframes from starting 0 to 20. If you hit the play button on the timeline, you can see the animation plays. This is not clean because you can see it starts slow and then moves fast and then again slows down at the end. Because by default in Maya, animation is created as is in and is out. If you want to know details about animation in Maya, you can check my website for the entire pipeline and there are short courses for modeling. So in order to fix this issue, we'll go to the windows menu. From there, we'll select the animation editors, we'll select the graph editor. So once the graph editor window is open, with the handle selected, you can see the offset graph. So now it's not straight, it is moving in a wave pattern, like an S. So drag and select the wave. On top bar, you can see there's a handle with a straight line. So you can click on the linear button with the wave selected. Animation curve now becomes straight and providing you the linear animation. If you now hit the play button, you'll see that issue has a result. It's moving at a constant speed. But to keep it looping, the animation, since we kept the animation only in the 24th frame, it will stop in 24th frame. But we want it for 5 seconds for 120 frames. For that, we have to make one change. Go to the graph editor once more with the handle selected. Under curves, you find the option of pre-infinity and post-infinity. So for the pre-infinity, 
make it cycle for the post infinity as well make it cycle if you now hit the play button you can see it's providing you with a smooth looking animation of the waves you can get an output of this by creating a play blast friends if you don't know how to create a play blast i'll post a separate video for that of creating a good play blast video and saving it so that you can view the video or share it so friends thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial where i'll be covering the next deformer from the nonlinear deformers till then take care bye bye and keep arting